Welcome to another Graphics Cube Photoshop tutorial. Our tutorials are designed to help you expand your photo editing and manipulation skills. Graphics Cube has great digital Photoshop compatible products for Photoshop compatible programs at graphicscube.com. Now let's see what we have for you today. Okay, we're going to make a composite collage. At this point we want to take the background we've chosen along with the template we need to accommodate all of the students photos and combine the two together put a layout on it so that we have openings for the students what we need right now is our actual layout pattern so we're going to go ahead and open up our 6x5 which is what we've chosen to use for our fifth grade class we're going to go ahead and open our background now so we're going to go to file open and pick up the background that we've chosen and shrink that down a little bit we don't need it quite that large if we're going to come up here to our move tool and we're going to select it we can also do that with a keyboard shortcut V and we're going to come over to our background and we're going to left click on it and just drag it into our layout template At this point we can go ahead and line it up we can close our original background template we've completed with it give us a little more viewing room here we're going to go ahead and turn off our background that we added at this point we would choose whether we want to select elliptical openings for the photos or the rectangular photos both will work equally as well in this case we're going to go ahead and use the rectangular uh, ones we don't even need the ellipticals then our fifth grade class consists of only 14 students so obviously we have 30 openings so that's a lot more than what we really need but that's okay we're going to go ahead and place the photo strategically so that it'll give a nice pattern to the page at this point we just need to come up here to the magic wand tool and select it and of course you can do that also with the keyboard shortcut W and we can start laying out our pattern by selecting contiguous this will ensure that each of the blocks we click on will be the only block that is highlighted and so at this point we're going to start choosing a pattern we can choose the pattern any way we'd like knowing that we have 14 students we can choose to do an X do a control D and get rid of that we could just lay the students out as 10 across the bottom and then the next four kind of a boring little layout but anything that'll fit can be done in this case we're gonna go ahead and do a little pattern here that's gonna get us our 14 students now that we've selected them we can go back to our background we imported we're going to highlight it make sure it's lit up here in the blue area and now we're just going to use the delete key to remove the squares we want to place our students in and we can do a control D to get rid of our little dancing ants and we can actually even delete our rectangle layer at this point now your template will have room at the top here for the school name and at the bottom for the year if you'd like as you can see the names have turned them back on they didn't come up that's because our new field layer is in front of them while we're at it why don't we go ahead and change this to the field layer and we're gonna go ahead and drag that down below the names so we can see the names again they're, they're popped right up for us while we're at it we're gonna go ahead and turn off all the names that we don't need as you can see we've got a name under each student but we don't need all of the students uh, openings so we're gonna go ahead and turn off all of the students in row one in row two we're gonna turn off the first and last student in row three we're gonna turn off the first student and the last two students in row four we're going to turn off the first two students and the last student and in row five we're going to turn off the first and last student at this point our template is ready for us to go on to the next step go ahead and open the first four students photos to make it a little quicker and easier and we're going to go ahead and select our template and you can see we have the background layer selected that'll make sure that all of our photos that we are bringing in will be below the 
field layer, which will become important uh, a little later on. We're going to go ahead and zoom in to where we get only a couple of students really showing here for the most part. And as you can see, we're starting with student eight and nine. That's because we turned off the top layer and the first photo. So student eight will be the first student to go in. And with our move tool selected, we're going to left click on our student's photo and drag it in. And we're going to go ahead and line it up and we can go ahead and close that student's photo. We're going to click on the next student and bring her right over. As you can see, since she was brought in above or after our first student, her photo is actually in front of his. But since they're not going to go over the top one another, that's okay. We will get that all set up. And now we can close her photo and move on to the next student. And we'll keep going through each one of these until we get all of the students installed in the background. And then with fast forward magic we have all of the students placed. At this point this is where you want to come in and zoom in nice and tight on them and go ahead and ensure that all four corners are lined up on every photo. It's very easy to end up with something out of alignment and it's extremely easy to fix it right now. As you can see this young lad is a little bit out of place. Now with our V tool selected, uh, we'll actually select our layer tool option and we'll make sure we have our auto select option selected and we're going to head, click right over his picture and it's going to have selected that photo in the layers palette and all we have to do now is use our arrow keys we're going to go ahead and nudge him over to where he needs to be and we'll look back at the other side again and make sure that he's correct over there and now all of our students are lined up exactly the way we want them at this point we're ready to start adding the students names into our template we're going to go ahead and zoom in on our first student and he is student eight we didn't use anybody in the first row and we're using the second one in the second row and we're going to stick with the move tool we're going to go ahead and instead of using our typing tool and trying to hit our uh, student eight text we're going to go ahead over here to the layers palette and we're going to double click on the t and we've now highlighted student eight's text and we're going to be able to go ahead and type in his name at this point now to make it easier and to, and to eliminate the corrections um, on students names you may want to go ahead and have a uh, typed database or uh, even a word file that you can just copy and paste the names from and it's no more difficult than doing a control C once you've highlighted the name in a control V to place the name and we're going to go ahead and we can accept that here or we can go ahead and just uh, start on the next student and we're going to do the same thing and this should go pretty quickly and we're going to run into situations where you've got a name that's too long to fit in now you've got a couple of options. You can, with it highlighted, you can come up and uh, change the font and decrease it. And you may wish to do that just for the one student or you may wish to do it for all the students. The other option, keeping it the same font, you may just click between the two names using your alpha keyboard. Just do an enter, delete that extra space. And you can go ahead and leave it like that. Using these templates, you've got great opportunity to kind of look ahead and see where you may have troubles with extra long names and go ahead and leave a blank photo in the spot below that one if you have that ability and that way it'll eliminate any confusion. With the number of hyphenated names and long names we have these days, this may be a very beneficial thing to look at ahead of time. There wasn't any problem with his name, so we're going to go ahead and just cancel out of this and return him. So I'm going to go ahead and clear our guides. Hope you enjoyed this Graphics Cube video. Please visit graphicscube.com for more tips, templates, tutorials, and more videos. See you in cyberspace at graphicscube.com. By the way, did I mention graphicscube.com?